Uh, without further ado, let me introduce Team Powercut with their app Amplify. Take it away. Hello. Hello, everyone. We are Team Powercut. I am Emily. Um, when I was 13, I had been playing drums for a few years. And so I went searching for a band, obviously. I found a website that was essentially a message board that lots of people had recommended to me. Uh, next slide, please. So I went on this. I found some people in the next city over, took an hour's train ride. I ended up in a band for a while, an hour each way, each time. And 10 years later, I went searching on the same website that looked exactly the same and functioned exactly the same. This time around, however, I valued my time a little bit more. So I wanted to find something a bit closer. And this was clearly an area that just needed updating and renovating for the modern age. So we thought, how good would it be if you could just find someone that was in your neighborhood a few streets over instead of searching by an entire city and just trawling through messages? Next slide, please. Enter Amplify. Amplify is a social media community app designed to connect local musicians through geolocation. Slide, please. We have a user-friendly UI that takes inspiration from the best parts of the biggest social media apps. Next slide, please. Allowing our users to show off and advertise their skills through in-app videos and posts. Next slide, please. And allowing our users to connect through an in-app messaging service. I'll now hand over to Ryan, who will go through a quick demo of our app. Here we have a quick demo of the app in use. Firstly, log in to secure account authenticated through Firebase. Once opened, you will be greeted with a map view showing you markers containing nearby ads. Clicking one of the markers will open a call out showing more information about the ad with a quick preview. From here, you can view the ad in full screen, hosted and streamed from Firebase. If the ad interests you, you can send a message to the person using the in-app messaging service, again, hosted through Firebase. If you want a more straightforward view of the ad, you can scroll through a list ordered by distance from your location. And if you'd like to post an ad yourself, you can use the in-app camera system, which can record video, take pictures, or like this user, upload straight from the phone's gallery. You can edit the video to cut awkward moments and make it feel more professional. From the form screen, you can also add extra information to your post, such as title, body, while the location is automatically uploaded to the database. You can then check your profile and view any ads you've posted. And uh, now I'll pass on to Selena, who will walk through the tech stack we used. Yeah, so our front end is built on React Native with Expo. And even though we'd use React towards the end of the course, using React Native still provided us with the challenge of learning a new technology. And the way we decided to approach this challenge was by pair programming during both the spiking and the development phases. Now, to build a streamlined user interface, in a short period of time, we used a few packages, such as React Native Paper, that help us achieve a consistent styling throughout the application. React Native Gifted Chat to give our users a recognizable chat experience. And the Expo camera and AV packages that help access the camera and gallery, while Google Maps facilitated the map view, which is such an integral part of this application. Next slide, please. Now for our backend, we use Google Firebase because it met our needs not only for a minimal viable product, but also for features to expand our product in the future. Now, Firebase, al Firebase allowed us to create and securely authenticate our users to host all of our data and media in an easily accessible, quickly to query, and very scalable NoSQL database. Finally, for geolocation services, we used geohashing, a geohashing package provided by Firebase to quickly query any nearby ads so that we could display them on the map. I'm going to now pass it over to Joel. He'll be speaking about the challenges we faced and some future features. One of the first things we realized would be integral to the app uh, was the structure of how data was going to be stored. So we spent a good amount of time discussing and planning this as a group. 
Uh, as the project, project developed, we wanted to add more features and information. We found on a number of occasions that we need to alter how the data, uh, alter the data structure and the NoSQL Firebase uh, database allowed us the flexibility that a relational database may not have. Uh, it also enabled us to take advantage of agile working practices because we didn't need to rebuild the database each time. Any of us could suggest new features to add and then easily begin creating the data to support and implement them. Next slide, please. There are also a number of features that we initially planned to include in the app. Uh, and with more time, we'd like to implement in the future, one of which was to allow for much more complex search queries. For instance, uh, allowing users to search by instrument or in a different area to their immediate location. We'd also intended on using push notifications to notify users when ads matching a preset criteria were posted within a, a certain radius of their location. Firebase has a, a built-in cloud messaging service that we could potentially make use of to achieve this functionality. So that's definitely something we'd like to explore in a bit more depth going forward. We hope you found our app interesting. Thanks to you all for listening. And um, we'd love to field any questions you might have.